all, how do you follow all the, the back and forth? I mean, is it like a roller coaster for you? Are you checking your phone every five seconds? I mean, sort of talk to me about your heart rate. <laughs> You know, it's funny, my, my heart rate definitely uh, does move. That said, I try not to check it more than about once a day. Mm -hmm. And the reason, and the same thing I say internally, I would say here, is you know, I don't think about the success over a three week or three month period. I think about it over a three year or five year period. And at the core, I think all this comes down to, are we solving real problems for real customers? And the, the crypto market overall, if a digital asset's solving a problem, then it's gonna drive some value. There's a lot of action in this market though, it's not clear what value it's really providing. What are the problems you think Ripple is solving? Well, so Ripple is solving a problem for cross-border payments. Mm -hmm. Today, as you may have experienced personally, when you're moving money from you know, here in San Francisco to Paris, it literally is faster to go buy an airplane ticket and fly it there than it is to use the correspondent banking system. That's crazy that we live in a world of, yeah. you know, instant information from Bloomberg or anywhere or any time, mm -hmm. I can't move my own money from point A to point B efficiently. So Ripple's solving the problem to allow, enable real-time settlement between financial institutions. So do you think there'll be a bounce back? Well, I think we've already seen uh, the markets bounce back some. You know, they, they, I don't follow it day to day, but you know, the, the peak of the market, probably mid-January, the total asset class was about over $800 billion. It dropped down to maybe 300 billion, and I think today it's back to you know 450 or so. Now that's a ton of volatility. My counsel for anyone following these markets is don't follow it day to day. You, you if you believe this is fundamentally a movement that's changing the nature of a, a new asset class, then I think you should measure that over months and years, not day to day. Ripple was doing really well at the end of last year. There's talk about it being the next Bitcoin. Is that? Super interesting. Um, I totally agree that you shouldn't be following the market day to day. Um, you're going to probably pull out your hair. Uh, what's interesting, though, is we do have, um, if you want to look at the charts, we do have hopefully now the recovery that I was talking about. And I do agree with the CEO of Ripple that uh, if you're going to be checking the cryptocurrency prices every day, you're probably going to rip your hair out. It's better to you know look at the macro picture and you know, think of the long-term effect of cryptocurrency. And I do feel like this market cap of uh, 450 billion is just short term. Um, I do see by the end of the year, it's gonna be over a trillion. I think, um, you know, if we do really get some good news and some uh, great uh, developments from cryptocurrencies that we will um, definitely have a bull market. Now, is Ripple a great coin? I don't know. Um, what's interesting, if we wanna go ahead and look at the uh, market is that they've held their position at uh, number three, uh, even though Bitcoin Cash has been moving up. Um, but the real big mover and the one that I'm really interested in actually is Litecoin. Um, I'm sure everyone who is invested in cryptocurrencies in the U.S. has some Litecoin, so that's some good news. But it's really interesting to listen to his comments. I do really do believe in the long-term effects or long-term um, impact of cryptocurrency. So, you know, chasing the market and watching it every day, I don't think is a good idea. Um, you should look at the long-term picture of Ripple and uh, cryptocurrencies. And uh, I'm very, very bullish for the future. I do think there's going to be a lot of growth in the future. Um, so. You know, will we have a correction? Will we have another dip? I mean, it's a possibility, but I, I do feel like we're we're on the upside. I feel like you know, there's a lot of good news coming out, and uh, we should easily break 500 billion market cap soon. Uh, and I I do see us you know reaching that 800 billion dollar market cap um, very soon. And uh, by the end of the year, I think we're going to be easily over a trillion dollars of market cap. And if it's all good, maybe two. Also, um, it is uh, Valentine's Day, Singles Awareness. <laughs> so do check out this website, Kawhi Crypto. I think it's a really cool gift to give your girlfriends if you do have a significant other or you're you know, working on it. So uh, you can see on the channel on the bottom, kawhicrypto.com. Go check it out. I'm definitely getting it for my girlfriend on Valentine's Day. And... Uh, I think she'll like it. I think it's really cute. So check that out and let me know what you guys think also about 
um, <laughs> the website Quiet Crypto and what the uh, CEO of Ripple says. If you're watching this on Facebook, please like the page. If you're watching this on YouTube, please like and subscribe to the channel and I will try to bring us more news. And like I said, your comments are really important. So if you do leave comments, I'll try to bring it on the show and kind of discuss it. So yeah, let me know what you guys think.